to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys probably know, recently was the Sephora 20% off VIB sale. That did some damage. I got a bunch of new things to try. They're not necessarily new products, but they're new to me. And then I also went to the drugstore and I just picked up a few things. Yes, I'm wearing a wig. I just felt like it today. Don't judge me. I think I'll do like a mini haul, I guess, of the things that I got. Let's start with Sephora. I spent $232.88. I know that's crazy. I know. But I hardly ever splurge on expensive makeup, so I kind of just wanted to do it. Plus, I bought some gifts. I bought this Too Faced Boss Lady Beauty Agenda set. So it comes with a palette, a planner, a Better Than Sex mascara, a melted matte, and did I already say planner? It's super cute. This is the case it all comes in. When you open it up, oh, your palette falls out. This is the planner. It comes with some stickers and it's super cute. And like in between it has all these little makeup things. This is the palette. It's super cute. The packaging is always cute. Too Faced always has great packaging and great marketing. This is the palette. You have, wait, two, four, six. 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 eyeshadows, one highlighter, one blush, and one bronzer. The colors are pretty cute. I watched them when it first came out, when it was first released, and I kind of was just like, me. It was $58, and I think it would make a really cute gift, honestly. Like, I think this is a super cute gift. I bought the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. This is $38, which is so expensive for a powder. It's so expensive for a powder. Honestly, that makes me kind of nuts how much I paid for this thing. <sighs> but I really needed a new powder. I was kind of sick of using the same one all the time. And I know you guys were probably sick of seeing me use the same one all the time. And this is supposed to be, like, super magical. So I just... I just did it. Okay, so the next thing I got is one of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Crucifix. It's just a kind of dark brown matte lipstick. Funny story, this isn't even the shade that I thought I was grabbing. I thought I was grabbing a different one. I don't know what it was called, but it was more of like a burnt orangey brown. And I've been looking for good brown toned nude not like a mauve nude because I have so many of those I wanted like a brownish one which is what the shade that I was trying to grab was but I just honestly can't tell you what happened there <laughs> I I don't know um, I also bought this bare minerals bare skin sheer sun serum bronzer um, I went in the, okay let me just let me just tell you a quick side story I went into Sephora looking for brow gel. I wanted to get the Anastasia brow gel, the clear one. <sighs> Plot twist, spoiler alert, I didn't even get brow gel. I, I went in there, I got all this stuff, and I didn't even get brow gel. I forgot my brow gel. So anyways, but then I was like, oh, you know what, I need a new bronzer, like I've already hit pan on the Wet n Wild one and I'm kind of sick of using it. And so I told the girl, I was like, I want a bronzer. She recommended this, and I was just like, I have never used a liquid bronzer. So we'll see how this performs when I do it myself. I might end up not even liking it, and I might return it. I also picked up the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to give it a try, and if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to return it. The good thing about shopping in what you call... Sephora, so you can return stuff if you don't like it. Not like longs. They don't appreciate that there. And the next thing I got, okay, I was actually super excited about this. So, um, anyway, so I saw these. I've always wanted to try these lashes. These are House of Lashes. Shh. Um, these are the House of Lashes lashes. Um, this one is a set and it comes with a limited edition oil slick precious gem lash case, two lash adhesives, and the lashes in the style in Natalia. So it's super cute. Okay, I originally meant these to be a gift for someone, but then I looked at it and I was like, JK, I'm keeping it. So this is what the lash case looks like. It is gorgeous. Got that oil slick effect and it is so pretty. These are the lashes and the glue. Okay, and then I bought this 
thinking I was buying Dip Brow, but now that I'm reading the box, I don't think it is. I bought, I bought whatever this is. This is waterproof cream color from Anastasia, and I got it in the shade Sable. I have no idea what this is. I'm definitely returning this. I'm gonna go to the mall as soon as I'm done filming, and I need to return this. I just, I, not sure what happened. Again, not sure what happened there. Right, so that was all that I got from Sephora, and I also, which I'm super excited about, finally decided to take the leap and just pay the expensive shipping. I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. Also got the new 39A Dare to Create palette, which I will be filming with tomorrow, so that video will be coming out. It'll be a review slash tutorial with swatches from the drugstore. This is like a long mini haul, Jesus, it's supposed to be quick. Um, from the drugstore, I only picked up like two things. Target slash longs, all I got was a new foundation because I've been kind of itching for a new foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I'm not sure about this color. I'm kind of, I, I don't know. Um, this is 108 Caramel Beige. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, and I also picked up a new concealer because I really, really, really needed a new concealer. Like, that was a necessity at this point. So I picked up the Maybelline Master Conceal and the shade Light Medium because that's all they had left and this was like the only concealer they had left in the entire store. I'm worried. This seems very pink toned. This seems very yellow. I just... I... I don't know about this. I, I just... I don't know. But we're gonna see. We'll, we'll test it. I also picked up some more new eyelashes. These are just the Ardell Wispies. They're not the Demi Wispies. They're just regular Wispies and it's the double pack. Okay, so my brows have already been filled in like normal and I'm gonna just start by cleaning them up using the Master Conceal from Maybelline. Again, that's in the shade Light Medium. I'm also gonna use it to prime my eyelid, which I will then set with my regular loose translucent powder because I wanted to give it a fair chance um, as an eye primer and use a powder that I know works. Once we are primed and set, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Ah, it's beautiful. And I'm going to be taking silk cream to start up my transition on my Wet n Wild blending brush. Then I'm going to be blending Pukey into my crease as well. That's kind of a strange name, but it's a nice color. Um, it's a pretty warm, taupey, sand colored brown. Then taking the shade Roxanne, which is a nice sienna type color on a domed fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics, the BH Cosmetics number no. 7. I'm working that in just below where I placed Pukey and Silk Cream, and this is going to start to give my eye definition. So today we're going for a halo look, so I'm going to be blending this into the inner corner as well as the outer corner. Next, I'm going to be taking that dark forest green shade called Enchanted on a BH Cosmetics number no. 8 buffing blender brush. I'm going to work that into the outer and inner corner, building up the color. And then I'm going to be taking a small, very, very tiny blending brush, and I'm going to blend that straight into my crease and connect the outer and inner together. Then I'm going to be going back in with a little bit more of Roxanne to bring the color out some more because I felt like I lost it a little. Then I'm going to be blending using a blending brush from e.l.f. And then taking that beautiful green shimmer shade called Diva on a flat shader, I'm just going to be applying that to the space on my lid to give the halo effect and spritz with a little bit of Fix Plus and apply some more and it's such a beautiful shade. Then I'm going to be taking this dense domed brush from e.l.f. and some more of Enchanted and I'm just going to build that color a little bit more. And then I'm going to be doing some winged eyeliner using my tattoo liner from Kat Von D in the shade Trooper as always. For lashes today, I decided to go with the Ardell Wispy, so I'll be stacking them and applying both. Now, this is the fallout that I got from the eyeshadow. Not bad at all. I'm just going to clean it up with a makeup wipe. And this is what the eye look looks like. And then I'm going to be priming with my Wet n Wild Face Primer and applying the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. And I'm one of those people that likes to just squeeze it straight onto my face. I feel like it's easier and less messy, honestly. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad color match. Go me. 
And as always, I am blending with my BH Cosmetics Round Buffing Brush, the BH number three. So this is just a close-up of what the skin looks like with the foundation. It is not full coverage. Uh, as you can see, some of my skin is actually peeking through, but it's very buildable. Next, I'm going in with the Master Conceal by Maybelline in the shade Light Medium, and I'm just going to dot this under my eye in triangles, and I'm also going to apply it to the bridge of my nose, a little on my chin, and just a little bit in the center of my forehead as well to highlight. And I'm blending it out using my Morphe M173 question mark, and also going to be pressing it in with my Real Techniques sponge. Then I'm going to go ahead and bake with the Laura Mercier. So I'm Mercier pretty sure powder. I just lost all of the footage of me doing the bronzer slash contouring and the baking. Which is kind of okay because I'm probably going to return that, this bronzer that I got anyways. I, I don't know. It's not as like pigmented as I want it to be, I think. And I didn't really miss anything. Baking is baking, so I don't think we missed anything, but... We're gonna finish off the eyes now. For the lower lash line, I am taking Roxanne and also Enchanted. So first I'm taking Roxanne on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna just work that right under my crease. Then on an e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm taking Enchanted right below my lashes to darken it and give it some definition. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend them together so that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to line my waterline with this green eyeliner pencil from Ellen Tracy, which I got these in a set from Ross, and girl, it was like two bucks. Um, then I'm going to be highlighting using, using the Cover Effects drops, and I'm just going to drop two small drops on the highest points of my cheeks and blend it out with a synthetic highlighting brush from Wet n Wild. Then I'm going to be using Hashtag Blessed, which is the highlighter in that Best Year Ever palette from Too Faced. And I was actually really impressed with this highlighter. Like, it's cute. It's taking it on a small flat brush down the bridge and tip of my nose. I'm going to hit my cupid's bow a little bit and also my brow bone to highlight. And I'm actually really, really impressed. Like I said, Too Faced doesn't get a lot of good credit for their highlighters, but I like this one. I thought it was super cute. For the lips, I'm going in with that Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crucifix, the one that I accidentally bought. And I'm going to apply that straight. I didn't use a lip liner or anything. Then I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Give Me Mocha, just to the center for a little ombre effect. Then I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay D Slick. And you're supposed to do it in like an X and T, but I didn't do that. Oops. Alright everybody, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It's kind of a green, olive, fall, leaf colored <laughs> um, halo eye. So yeah, I don't really know what this whole thing is. I guess it could be kind of like a grungy Christmas look because it's reddish and greenish. Um, but I don't know. We all know my struggle with uh, coming up with names and titles for looks. I tweeted about it, and if you guys are not following me on Twitter, you're not really missing anything, honestly. All I do is uh, tweet about Naruto and food and occasionally makeup things. Mm, I'm really boring on Twitter. But anyways, yeah, so this is the finished look. Just a simple fall halo eye using the famous Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm so excited to finally have it. So yeah, this was full face, well, full-ish face of trying new to me products and it was really fun. I like trying new products. If you guys have any recommendations for anything at all, especially a new moisturizer because Gail needs a moisturizer, and let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you liked it. I think I'm kind of rambling at this point. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.